We face things that are terrifying. Situations that are intimidating. Circumstances that instill fear in us. In fact, someone said, fear is a distressing emotion which is actually aroused by impending danger. You feel like danger is coming. Oh, that is the spirit of fear. I want to let you know that every fear is not of God. Every fear is not of God. Fear that distresses you. Fear that actually brings even pain. That fear, it threatens your security. That fear is not actually a portion of you. And somebody said, it is a feeling of anxiety. Actually, fear brings anxiety. And it makes your system to rise and begin feeling uncomfortable. That fear, if you don't take care of it, it leads into your system to develop ulcers and stomach trouble and hypertension and all kinds of high blood pressure. Why? Because it is something threatening. If there be anyone fearing today, may the Lord deliver you out of fear. May the Lord fix you out of that fear in Jesus' name. For he says fear is both physical, this is scientific. The science, scientists, they say, fear is physical. Fear is experience in your mind, they say. This is scientists. And they say it is it triggers a strong physical reaction in your body. And then he says, as soon as you recognize fear, there is an organ within you called amygdala. It's a small organ in the middle of your brain. They say it goes to work. Then it allows your nervous system, which sets your body, the fear response, into motion. Then what comes? It releases a stress hormone which is called cortisol, cortisol and adrenaline. Adrenaline, you know, if you went to school, did biology. And they are released into your system, the hormones. Then it causes your blood. Your blood, we call it what? To run fast. What is it called? Yes, blood pressure. So it instills pressure on you, pressure in your nervous system, Pressure in your blood. So your blood begins running faster beyond the normal. And we call it blood pressure, BP. So you go for a test, they say, hey boss, you have blood pressure. They work on you. May that demon of blood pressure leave you in Jesus' name. Because some of us have been under pressure all through that we have blood pressure. May that pressure, if you have it, may it disappear from your system in Jesus' name. Because it's not acceptable. It's an under pressure which is abnormal causing your system to react. And science, they say, then you start breathing faster. This is scientist. You begin breathing faster. Yet you have not run. You have not exercised. So you find someone even seated. He begins breathing faster as if he has run. And if it is not taken care of, they can collapse. And people go to heaven early or to hell quicker. So these scientists, then they say, your heart rate increases. Then you start breathing faster. Even your blood flow changes. Imagine, blood actually flows away from your heart into your limbs instead of flowing into your heart. And they say, making it easier for you to start throwing punches. uh -huh. Or run for your life. If it is fear of a person, you can begin hitting or fighting. Or if it's scary, you run away. May the Lord give you strength to stand against every source of fear in your life. To count it with all the power it requires in the power of the Lord Jesus. And he says, when this is done, you do what? You become timid, scared, and you can flee. Some, they run away from church. Others, they run away from the estate and vicinity. Others, they run to a place where nobody wants, nobody knows them. Don't run away. 
Now, so when the Lord talks of this wonderful people, don't fear. It is because of all these circumstances which actually have befallen them and they become so nervous. Last week, we said, God cares for you. And we came to the second point which was saying, God, God in that chapter, part two, where we are, is God encouraging his people. Now, basically, he is encouraging us today. Now, what is he saying to us today? What is he saying to us? I want to let you know that God who is talking to Israel in this chapter is the same God who is talking to us. And I can summarize in one phrase just to let you know, feel encouraged, that help is coming your way. So if you had a topic, you look for a topic from the past every time, it is simply help is coming your way. It is coming your way. From these portions, it is coming your way. God is the one who is there for declaring. He says to us, number one, fear not. So deal with your fears, whether they are genuine or ungenuine. Because fear, scientists, they also say that fear could be genuine because there's a situation, but also it could be ingenuine, meaning it may not be real. So people actually fear for real things and they also fear for unreal things. It might be true that there is a real situation called sickness. But that one God is telling us we should not fear. It might be true that the situation even where we are and where I am as a pastor, it could be threatening and scary. But I want to let me know and you know that we should not fear. That's what God is telling us. Fear not. We should not be feared. Whether it's real or unreal, the issue is we should not fear. Why? Where science never recognized and they don't know is they don't know that fear is a spirit. They admit fear is real. They admit fear is a condition. They, but they don't act. It's physical. Fear is also physical. But they don't admit fear is a spirit. I want to let you know that behind fear, there is a spirit of fear. That's why God comes and he says, Hey, I have not given you the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, the spirit of love, and the spirit of that's what he says to us. Sound mind. Behind every fear, friends, in 2024, fear of tomorrow, fear of today, fear of how it will be, fear of life, fear of business failure, fear of death, fear of debts, fear of sicknesses, fear of being admitted to hospital, fear of all these life-threatening diseases. Besides and behind every fear, there is a demon of fear which has to crumple in the name of Jesus, which has to give way in the name of Jesus, and by the authority of the blood of Jesus, I take power over the spirit, demon spirit of fear that comes to instill fear in us. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. I uproot it in Jesus' name. We shall not fear. Why? For the Lord has said, Fear not, for I am with you.